together and regrouped. And here we are. <laughs> Chris, where did you guys end up passing uh, team number 11? Uh, just down right below uh, Chino on the Fairbanks side there. Um, almost at the mouth of the Chino. And, and again, they had, I think, about 13 minutes on you guys uh, going into uh, to Banana. You're probably thinking, hey, uh, you know, it's going to take something for us to catch them up. And yeah, we, we, we were really good. We were in the groove at that point. We were really going fast. And, of course, we, when we finally passed them, we kind of slowed down a little bit. We didn't know what was going on. But uh, they said they were okay, so hopefully there wasn't anything big. Yeah. Tell us about this last stretch of uh, this stretch of trail, about 50, 60 miles that no Iron Dogger has ever run before. You guys are the first champions on this. How was it? Uh, I probably would rather not comment on that right now. It was all right, you know. It's just uh, it's tough when you're riding on something that you have no idea what you know. You're looking at your GPS and you're going, I think we're going the right way here, you know. We didn't really know, but, but it, it was good though. It was kind of fun. Congratulations, to team number ten, you know, Tyler Hunter and Chris. They're looking good, and you know, that's just part of the race. Um, you know, that quickly run until just a few miles is finished. Yeah. So, so how, how was the run, Todd? I mean, I mean other than the last 60 miles, miles where would you say, say it was the most, most difficult part and most, most challenging, challenging for it this year? year? Well, all in all, there's just a ton of snow throughout the whole course. Starting uh, in Farewell Burn, where Eric had to break several miles of trail. And then, uh, you know, day two, the, the long, the uh, was a couple feet of snow, and team seven, eleven, and two, we, we all worked together to make the trail. So, uh, you know, we had we had uh, the lead on a lot of folks, and then we lost it that day. Well, well, and it was, it was definitely, definitely a team, team effort, effort this year, year all along the trail, trail especially after, after that, that restart, restart no, when you guys, guys had to buddy up all the way over to Unilla Plate. Uh, Eric, tell, tell us, you know, after you guys had to leave out of Unilla Plate, what was it like with that whole Yukon run and making it up here, up here with that storm? Well, you know, we did see Unilla Plate there. Uh, we were a little worried about the water. <laughs> Check in, sign off. They're really dependable. Uh, 
maybe not the fastest, maybe not the lightest, but uh, pretty pretty good all around snowmobile. Well, and dependability is a big thing on this race, especially when you get to Nome and you got all that time that you could possibly tinker with it and mess with it and change everything out. Um, how much time did you have in Nome that you really needed to wrench on the machine? <laughs> Six minutes. Um, you know, we had uh, Todd and Eric helped us, and uh, well, we helped them first, and then uh, they helped us do ours. But we only had six minutes, and uh, didn't really have much to do. Um, you know, and I, you know, <coughs> just uh, had a couple little bent heat tabs to bend back and, and uh, grease them up, and away we went. Wow, that's a great testimonial about these sleds, especially these long endurance sleds. You know, it's, people are looking to get a new sled that they want to have hold up. Ladies and gentlemen, your finishers of the 2011 Iron Dog. Team number 10, Chris Olds and Tyler Huntington. Team number 11, Todd Palin and Eric Quam. And team number 7, Corey and Scott Davis. Great job, you guys. Glad to see you crossing that finish line here on the banks of the Chena River. There's a great photo off. Hold them up, guys. There we go, your 2011 Iron Dog Finishers, sponsored by the Alaska National Guard. From Fairbanks, Alaska, you guys are true champions and great ambassadors for this race. Thank you so much. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors, all of our volunteers, and all of our board of directors for making this happen for 2011, especially the Alaska National Guard. Let's give it up for everybody who made this race happen. One more time, ladies and gentlemen. Don't run away yet, I have a couple more things. I was busy blubbering and thought I forgot a couple of things, so give me one second here. We can take pictures, though. And while we're talking about Chris Olds and Tyler Huntington, I'd like to present something to Colonel Lowndowski. Um, it was definitely a tough year this year. I mean, we uh, there was a lot of snow. It made it, a, you know, the trail conditions were a lot, uh, you know, it was kind of like we talked about. It was tough to, to kind of break away from anybody if you got out front because you were breaking trail. Um, that definitely made it. Um, mechanically, we had pretty much a flawless year. We didn't have any mechanical problems. A uh, couple small, um, you know, maintenance type issues. But uh, besides that, it uh, went pretty well for us. And what, okay, how do you, sorry, what do you think of your win? Or, you, know, um, you know, well, we won last year, and this is our second win. And uh, this was probably, uh, you know, last year I, I knew that we could do well, and and we won. And, and this year I knew we could do do good also. It was, uh, but it's pretty tough to be able to win it back to back. Um, but we knew that we had a good shot at it, and we didn't. We kind of never gave up, even though we lost some time the first day, and. I think just staying focused and not, um, uh, you know, losing sight of just trying to, you know, keep pushing forward, and um, I think that ended up helping us, uh, you know, be here, be here first. Okay, thank you. Um, you? Yeah, this is definitely one of the tougher years with all the snow and everything out there, and I think us just keeping going and never giving up, even though we had a couple little wrecks there at the last day and. They passed us from the blue belt, and we just kept pushing as hard as we can, and paid up, paid off for us. Yeah.